Okay, welcome. I'm going to be showing you two easy ways to make your unbounced page more mobile responsive. This way will ensure users are getting a really similar experience across both desktop and mobile devices. So I've started here with a template and I'm just going to scroll down to this section I've just created. So I added a full width image as the background as well as this icon here and I moved the text around a little bit. So this looks well formatted on desktop. We're going to toggle over to mobile right now. And as you can see, uh, this isn't really working. <laughs> so we're going to want to edit this. But before we start dragging things around, this can be a problem because if I'm editing in one device view, sometimes that'll change the layout in the other device view as well. So if I move this text you know, down, that might affect the way that the text is laid out in desktop. So in order to prevent that from happening, what we're going to do is we're going to select whatever element we're moving and we're going to hold down the control key. And as long as we have the control key held down, wherever we move that element should not affect the device view that we are not on. So I'm going to move this into our section here, make sure that this is all aligned. Okay, that's a better layout now. And when we toggle over to desktop, we can see that none of these elements have moved and these are both readable and well laid out. The second easy way to make your unbounced page more mobile responsive is to remember that if a section or an element isn't serving you well on one device view, you can just hide it and rebuild it. So we'll use this section as an example we have this process image here that's landscape oriented. So it makes sense in desktop, it fills up the section well. Um, it's large, it's readable were it to have text on it. But then we move to mobile and right off the bat, you can see that it doesn't quite look right in mobile. Were this image to have text on it, for example, the degree you'd have to shrink it down in mobile wouldn't really allow that to be readable. So that would have a pretty significant impact on the user journey, especially if you have important text in there that you need your users to see. So what we're going to do here is actually add a new image that I created that is a more portrait oriented version just for mobile. So we'll choose that here. As you can see, this is technically landscape oriented, but the nice thing about this is we can go to edit mask and we can crop the image just right here on the page. Let's make it a square. Okay, we'll blow it up. So that's nice and big and readable on mobile. Now we want to get rid of this one, but we can't delete it outright because what that'll do is it'll also get rid of it on desktop, which we don't want. So we're going to select it and we're going to pop out the contents bar right over here, right? And if it has you at the top of the contents bar, you're just going to scroll until you see the highlighted element. That's the one that you're currently selecting. So I renamed this one horizontal orientation and you can just rename an element by double clicking it. So this is our desktop image, right? All you're gonna do is click the little eyeball icon and hide it. So now it's no longer visible on mobile, but it is still here on desktop. And we're gonna do the same thing for the mobile image, which I'll just rename as a mobile image here. Okay, select, we find it on the contents bar and we hide it. All right, so this way we have two different versions of the same process image, one optimized for desktop and one optimized for mobile so that they are clear, they're readable, and they don't impact the user experience in any meaningful way.